Hi, welcome to Student Voice. I'm your presenter, Ava. Today we're going to be talking to people about the student elections and whether they know who their PTOs and subs are and whether they know who's running. Uh, so yeah, let's get on with the show. So um, we were just wondering, are you going to vote in the elections, the two of you? Yep, planning yeah, on doing it, so yeah, sure, we'll go on the website and vote. I think I am going to vote. Um, I need to read through all the things. I know it's all in the paper, um, I just haven't got around to reading it all yet. And did you know about it before today or before, like, recently? or? Um, I think one of my m friends has mentioned it, but I did, haven't really heard that much about it. But I've seen a few like campaigns on Facebook. So. Yeah, the, one, the people that are sort of marketing themselves really well with funny videos, I think, mm. <laughs> I heard about that. <laughs> so, um, how much do you know about the elections? so far? Not a lot. I know some of the candidates just because of societies and things that I'm part of, but apart from that, not a lot. A bit. I, d uh, I haven't read all of the manifestos. I, ha I haven't voted yet, but I think I will I will do. Um, but I don't know that much about it. And um, do you know what positions are open for election? I'm not sure, no. Is it not? Just, is it more than just president and vice president and stuff? Or? Um, there's president, AU officer, so athletic union, um, activities, welfare and equality, education, and then you've got like racial equality and um, disabilities officer and all that kind of stuff who are the part-time officers and things. But yeah, you know, like it's, it's everything basically. Yeah. Uh, what candidates do you know of? I know about Raf because I'm part of Dance Society and he's part of that. So. Uh, um, I know oh, Chris Murray, um, who's running for president, and I know I've got a few a few friends who are doing it, like um, uh, Louise, who's running for um, editor of the Courier. So I, I know I know a few people, yeah. Um, yeah, can you name any of the current uh, subs? Like, can you name the current president? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't. <laughs> no, um, I should be able to, but I really. Yeah, maybe. I can't. Shame think. on us. I know, yeah, <laughs> we should know. I'm sure a lot of uh, most other people probably do. <laughs> do you know who your current SABs are? The sabbatical officers, so like the president and the activities officer, etc. Yeah, I know who they are, yeah. but I haven't really had a lot to do with any of them. <laughs> Quick fire round, can you name them? Oh, <laughs> um, I know there's one called Sarah. Is there one called Sarah? Um, <laughs> I don't know what any of the others are called. Okay, yeah, 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 that's fair. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can they? Uh, so Ronnie reads the president, and um, Rebecca Bainbridge is the activities manager, uh, activities officer rather. Um, the others, I'd struggle, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Um, and in terms of um, campaigning, like, how much have you seen, and like, who have you seen campaigns from? And uh, well, I've seen um, quite a few people flying around campus, and I've had like messages and emails from uh, quite a lot of the people campaigning, like for all sorts of positions. And what do you th do you think the union could engage more with students throughout the election? And if so, like what could they do? Um, it could maybe um, maybe hold more events. To I know there are events around, but maybe more of them, or like um, maybe appeal more direct. I, I don't know. Maybe appeal more directly to the students. Uh, can you think of like any way that? you know, like the union could engage with you better, you know, like... Maybe, I'm trying to think, more emails maybe to like con to send to all the students? I actually think I've got any emails from the SU? I don't know, maybe I overlook them, I'm not sure. But I don't think I have. Um, and maybe more like... Maybe in lectures as well to remind you that, yeah, that mm. this is happening. And yeah, that's a good idea, in lectures, because you've got to go to the lectures, so you're going to have to hear about it. I think maybe like that would be good, decent, yeah. I think I've seen a lot from the actual candidates. I'm not sure um, how aware that people might have been that they were coming up before the actual you know, campaign, so maybe something more to promote um, the fact that the elections are coming up and get people a bit more excited about it might be useful. So Sam, obviously you're running for education. Um, what do you think about student politics and apathy and engagement with the elections? Yeah, I think um, this year especially, because there's not many people on campus and there's the strikes going on, the weather is disgusting, there's not really that many people about to see things like flyers, banners and things like that. But I do think it is really, really important for people to get involved because the union does so much for you, especially in terms of um, your academic interests. So not many people know that the library is open 24 hours because of work done by 
the Students' Union, more courses use recap because of the Students' Union and plenty of other things that I can't even remember at this point. Um, but I think you know everyone's got an opinion about you know what they like about their course, what they don't like, what they like about societies, what they don't like and the really big way to get involved and to change that is to vote in the elections I think. So Errol, you're this year's Chair of Council. Um, I'm assuming you know quite a lot about the students, student elections. I'd like to say so. This is this is the. I mean, I've now ran in uh, two elections, so I'd hope with five years sitting around Newcastle, I'd kind of know what I'm doing. Brilliant. And um, yeah, silly question, but can you name all of your subs? Uh, oh, that's mean. That's just dropped me into it. Uh, Ronnie, Rowan, Sarah, Becca. Clara and James. Four marks, four marks. Um, and in terms of engagement with this election, obviously it's been kind of a strange election because of the UCU strike and um, obviously with um, last week's blizzard conditions. Yeah. Um, is this year different from, from, other, from other elections and how so and how do you feel engagement's been this year? Firstly, I definitely noted that obviously whilst we're still surrounded with posters and flyers, there's been a lot more on social media. People are relying a lot more on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram than they have done in years prior. Obviously, in my first year, it was all about the posters. It was all about getting um, your, your bed sheet in front of the students union and working from there now it's somewhat different with the strikes have definitely caused a little bit of concern for people running for election i can confirm that without a shadow of a doubt and i know that some people are have been worried about crossing the picket line um when they've been campaigning or running up to obviously campaigning engagement wise i don't really know i genuinely cannot confirm whether there's been more or less engagement. Um, I would love to. I'm looking forward to seeing the um, vote, the voters breakdown at the end of the election period, to see whether there's been an increase or not in using social media. So, yeah, Ronnie, how do you feel that the um, el how the election season has been this year? Do you think it's been different to last year or previous years? Well, obviously, the circumstances of these elections have been very different. Uh, we've operated with strikes, with snow, but irrespective of that I think our candidates have given a really good account of themselves uh, and have put on some really good campaigns and there have been a really positive discussion about key issues that students face on campus so I think that uh, obviously we always want turnout to be a hundred percent I'm not sure we'll get there but it's been a positive campaign so far and obviously um, with turnout um, usually with the NUS referendum and prior elections, you know, turnout usually is quite low, engagement with the union is quite low. Um, how do you think that that c can be resolved? Well, it doesn't help when you have lots of students that aren't in lecture theatres listening to candidates putting out their voice and putting out their manifestos. Um, I think we just need to continue our current strategy, which is trying to let students know the positive work that sabbatical and PTO officers uh, are, are making and the key changes that they're making, um, and just really get it making every student know that these elections are indeed happening. With the NUS referendum and um, prior elections, turnouts consistently been quite low amongst the student body. Um, how do you feel that the union could continue to, to engage students in student politics? Well, I think um, engagement in student elections is a problem across the country in all students' unions. Um, we put quite a lot of effort in this year into how we can engage more students. Uh, we have a new director of digital communications who is hopefully going, uh, through his expertise, is hopefully going to uh, help gain more support for these campaigns, for uh, surveys and elections.